What's up guys, Asian here again with another theory crafting video and today we're going to be discussing a couple of tests that I've done looking at uh, racial changes that have been on the Wrathstone PTS. So for those of you guys who have not been made aware, uh, the yes, their racial passives have changed in the upcoming DLC. It's coming up in about a month or so. Um, so, uh, for example, I'm on a Khajiit right now, and uh, let me just hop over to the racial passives, and you can see here that they have changed the uh, passives here. Um, a lot of them have been changed. Uh, basically, uh, the major thing is instead of percentage boosts, they're now flat boosts here. So you can see here that um, instead of having 10% uh, health regen, now you have a flat 100 health regen. Um, and there's some other smaller changes here and there. One of the bigger ones for Khajiit uh, is that you also get spell crit on top of the weapon crit as well. Um, so a lot of these racial changes have kind of risen up as well. War races uh, going to change for meta DPS. Um, then this is more for PVE stuff. We don't really cover PVP too much on this channel. Um, so this particular a video will be focusing in on uh, PVE DPS from a Magicka and Stamina perspective. So I did do parses on both Magicka and Stamina, and I also did them uh, one on a non-crit damage class. So I did it on a Warden, and then I did another on Templars, as you can see here, in order to kind of get an idea of how the additional crit damage will affect where Khajiit stand, just because the higher crit damage does mean that Khajiit do uh, increase in power a little bit more quickly compared to uh, the other races. So uh, we're going to just hop over real quick over to the spreadsheet so you guys can take a look at um, take a look here where are here it is. All right, so here is the spreadsheet. I'm just gonna move the webcam here so you guys can see all the numbers. All right, so these are all the spreadsheet, all the parses that I've done. So up here on the top, this is the Warden class. So on the left-hand side, we have the Magicka DPS. On the right-hand side, we have the Stamina DPS. And five parses on each, I tried to keep make sure that I was getting good consistent parses. Um, I, tr I did have to redo a few parses here and there just because I was hitting a little bit lower. Might have been some RNG crit, it might have just been a bad parse, um, but I did kind of want to make sure I was hitting relatively consistent parses here. So starting off first with Magicka. So one of the big things that people were really concerned about was that Khajiits do seem like they are going to be pretty strong for Magicka DPS. Now for a non-crit class, uh, like the Wardens here, uh, the difference is kind of substantial here. Uh, I do think that the Altmer and the Dunmer parses are carried somewhat by their 48k parses, so I do have two 48k parses here. So if I do decide to take them out, um, we'll find that it is a smaller increase overall, uh, uh, but it's still they're still pitting higher than Khajiits. Now this might just be the nature of the Magical Warden class itself because they do have fairly substantial um, damage done modifiers with the Animal Companions passive. Um, so that might scale a little bit better with spell damage. Uh, both Altmer and Dunmer do have spell damage, for instance. Uh, Khajiits do not. So that might explain things a little bit here. I do want to play around a little bit um, just because uh, in terms of the ability metrics, we should expect that Khajiits are It'd be a little bit weaker compared to Altmer and Dunmer, but it shouldn't be uh, this this much weaker. Um, so again, I do think that part of this is due to the fact that I did have these very high parses. Uh, this one was on the Dunmer and this one was on the Altmer. Uh, so that's kind of where uh, Magic DPS stand for a non-crit class. Now for a crit class, this is uh, Magic of Templar, so they do have that 10% additional crit damage here. And now we can see here that the Khajiits do end up winning out compared to the Bretons, Altmer, and the Dunmer. Um, so yes, Khajiits are actually going to be one of the best, if not the best, Magic DPS race uh, for pretty much every single class. They're going to be stronger on Nightblades and Templars because they are traditional crit damage, um, but nonetheless, uh, even on a non-crit damage class like the Wardens, the Sorks, um, and the DKs, Khajiits are still going to be very strong, very competitive, um, especially in groups with very high major force uptime. Uh, if you have very good major force uptime in your group, then Khajiits will end up pushing ahead of all the other races. So for Magic DPS, yes, it does seem like Khajiits are pushing out ahead just because of the additional crit chance, particularly on uh, the crit classes, the Templars and the Nightblades. These results have been corroborated. Uh, 
corroborate I, I don't know, they've been supported um, by other people who have also done their own testing like has done his own testing uh, with raid buffs and have come to the conclusion that Khajiits are also going to be stronger uh, he did it on a magplar and he did end up beating out Altmers by about 2 or 3k or so. Uh, so these results are supported. Uh, the only results that has a little bit off, uh, at least from my personal results, Arc is going to be the Magical Warden results. Um, so I'm going to try out on a Sork and see if I can replicate these results, uh, maybe on a DK instead. Uh, probably a DK just because we can kind of eliminate the extra damage done uh, bonus there. Sorks also have additional Wep Spell Damage bonus, so uh, that might also un. Uh, favor the Altmer and the Dunmer. Um, so at the very least for Magicka uh, DPS, uh, the nuances are going to be a little bit uh, trickier to kind of tease apart just because of that damage done versus the spell damage from Sorks and so on and so forth. Uh, but Khajiits are looking to be very very powerful with the Altmer not too far behind. Now in terms of sustain, um, I did not save that many parses, uh, but generally speaking, Bretons have a very, very easy time sustaining. Um, so for the Khajiit, Ultimate, and the Dunmer, it was pretty much you could not sustain a full light attack rotation uh, with a Berserker engine on the back bar. You had to use an Absorbed Magicka engine on the back bar. But for the Bretons, you could actually use a Berserker enchant on your back bar um, instead of a Absorbed Magicka enchant. So that does give you a little bit of additional firepower there. And we can see here that this is reflected more so on the Magicka Templar parts, less so on the uh, Warden parts. Uh, but you can see here that the Bretons actually aren't doing too poorly. They did a little bit better than the Dunmer by about uh, 0.15%, um, and the Ultimer did beat him out by about 0.7%. Um, so it does seem like uh, the sustain from the Bretons is fantastic. It's pretty much like the Red Guard for Magicka now. Um, you are trading off a little bit of um, DPS, uh, but overall I would say that Bretons are fairly competitive compared to the Ultimer and definitely competitive compared to the Dunmer. Um, so if I had to kind of rank these four races, I'd probably say Khajiits are going to be up the top uh, if or very close to the top if you're able to sustain. Um, and then probably Altmer and then D Breton are probably toe-to-toe -to -toe, and then Dunmer are kind of falling a little bit behind here. They're all fairly close together. Again, the Magicka Warden Parses might not necessarily be the most indicative, uh, but if we take a look here at the Magicka Templar Parses, uh, we can see that it's mostly... Uh, the larger numbers are mostly when you're comparing it to the Khajiits um, and against the Dunmer versus the Altmer does have a little bit of a higher disparity here um, but it's mostly going to be just due to the Khajiits. These three races are actually fairly close together uh, based on the Magic Templar parses. Now moving on over to the other side, this is the Stamina side here. So again, Wardens on top, Stamina Warden on top, Stamina Templar on the bottom here. So for Stamina Warden, it does seem like Khajiits are pushing out ahead. Uh, again, this is a non-crit damage class, so they don't have any additional crit damage here. Now that being said though, Dunmer and Orc are pretty close behind. Uh, in fact, uh, they had a higher max parse compared to Khajiit. Khajiit max parse was 50.3k, uh, and Dunmer and Orc both managed to pull 50.4k. Um, so that should also be taken in consideration there. Now, the interesting thing here is the Dunmer versus the Orc comparison. So Dunmer, if you're able to sustain on a Dunmer, you could actually do end up pulling out ahead of the Orcs. Now the Orcs do have a racial passive that does boost their overall sustain, uh, so that's why they're able to keep up with Dunmer. Uh, however, Dunmer, if you are able to fully sustain the light attack rotation, then the Dunmer should, in theory, end up pushing out a little bit ahead, if not equal to the Khajiits. Um, that being said, it is a little bit more difficult uh, to kind of uh, get up to sustain on a Dunmer. So on this stamina warden parse I did have to do one heavy attack uh, compared to the other uh, four races where I was able to fully sustain a light attack rotation without any heavy attacks at all. Um, all the enchants were exactly the same on the stamina uh, parses here. Now that being said, the red guard sustain was abs again pretty substantial. Uh, the Bosmer sustain was also very very nice as well. Um, so Bosmer versus the red guard, uh, the Bosmer Sustain is pretty much toe-to-toe -to -toe with Red Guards now. Um, I'm not 100% certain if you sh would be able to replace and absorb Stamina Enchant with a Disease Enchant, but I wouldn't be surprised if you were able to do so. If you were to do so, you probably would gain a little bit of DPS, maybe like 100 DPS or so, um, but I would still have to go ahead and test this out. The purposes of these tests were really just to look at um, racial differences, not necessarily looking at... Uh, uh, between races or between enchants or between weapons those are uh, going to be for later tests here 
Um, so moving on to the crit damage class, this is a Stamina Templar here. Uh, so unlike what we seen saw with the Stamina Warden, uh, we did end up seeing that the Dark Elves uh, and the Orcs did push out ahead of the Khajiits by a little bit here. The biggest difference was almost 1% comparing to Dark Elves to Khajiits. Um, however, again, you gotta have to remember that crit chance... Hold on. <coughs> crit chance will scale better with Major Force compared to weapon damage. So if you had it in a group with very good Warhorn uptime, very good Major Force uptime, the Khajiits will see a relatively larger DPS increase compared to the Dunmer and the Orc, which might end up closing the gap here. Um, but the mathematics behind uh, these different races does seem to hold Alf pretty well. Uh, so Redguards and Bosmer are very close together and they are worse compared to the other three races. That is to be expected because the other three races do have stronger modifiers. Um, the Dunmer are pushing out ahead of the Orcs. Again, that is to be expected because Dunmer do have a little bit higher mech stam. Um, the, the trouble is sustaining on a Dunmer. Uh, again, here I did have to do one heavy attack to fully sustain uh, this rotation on a Dunmer compared to no heavy attacks on the other four races. So that's kind of the caveat of running a Dunmer. You will need to be able to sustain the full rotation. You will need support probably from Sentinel of Kugams, uh, from Orbs, and potentially even Hercene's Veneer, the set uh, that will drop uh, the stamina cost of your abilities there. Um, so that's kind of the caveat of running a Dunmer, but it does seem like the math is holding up with Dunmer pushing out ahead of Orcs. And Redguards and Bosmer. Now again with Khajiits it's more difficult to say because these are solo parses so I do not have major force uh, active on any of these parses here uh, but again with major force up the Khajiits will see a relatively larger increase to their DPS uh, compared to the Dunmer and the Orcs just because the crit chance does scale better with that major force modifier compared to weapon damage. Uh, you will still see a DPS increase it just won't be as large on the Dunmer and the Orc. So uh, overall, if I were to rate these five races for stamina DPS, I would probably say Khajiits and Dunmer are probably going to be the top two choices with Orcs not too far behind. Bosmer and Redguard are taking up the rear here, but they do have the advantage of basically never needing to worry about sustain. In fact, uh, on the Redguards and the Bosmer, I, I don't think I fell below 50% stamina at any point during either of these, uh, these two parses here, these, racial, these uh, class parses. So if you want that additional sustain, then by all means go for Redguards and Bosmer. But otherwise, Dunmer or Khajiits are going to be your better option here. Khajiits do have an easier time sustaining compared to Dunmer. Um, it's, just, uh, it's just that the, the additional stamina Stamina regen does help out a little bit here, um, but Dunmer, if you are able to sustain, if you've got that group support going, Dunmer are also a very strong racial option uh, for stamina DPS. So that is it for this video. So basically to conclude, Khajiits are pretty much sitting very close to the top of the DPS uh, pecking order here, both for Magicka and Stamina. Uh, if you don't want to play as a Khajiit, then Dark Elves are going to be your best bet for Stamina if you can sustain it, otherwise go with the Orcs. And then for Magicka, the Ultimer are probably going to be your best option, although Bretons are a close second, uh, just due to that additional sustain and the ability to run that Berserker Enchant on your back bar. Dark Elves are still fairly decent at Magicka DPS. Um, the gap actually between all three of these races is pretty small That to the point where I can recommend any of those three races if you don't want to be a Khajiit. Uh, but generally speaking, it does seem like Khajiit are going to be the race of choice of all the endgame PvE, or I should say most endgame PvE DPS players. Uh, of course, barring any changes that might be happening later on down the line. If there are going to be any changes to the racial passives, then I will retest uh, the racial differences and update you guys on that. Uh, so that is it for this video. Future videos for PTS parse, uh, PTS testing will include things like uh, taking a look at main hand traits uh, for dual wield uh, now that the enchant strength has been reduced. Comparing dual wield with two handed uh, in terms of uh, PVE DPS and then taking a look at some of the newer sets as well as the refreshed sets uh, particularly deadly strike uh, that might seem interesting for use on a stamina templar um, so those are going to be a couple of tests that you can expect to see in the coming weeks or so so that's it for this video hope you guys found this informative if you guys have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down in the comment section below now we'll see you guys in the next dungeon